Tonight, we reveal that the cartels at Kemsa and the Ministry of Health have not only illegitimately pocketed billions of shillings at the expense of the taxpayer, you, but have also served to expose millions of Kenyans to the ravages of more diseases and even death. Global funding and support organizations, USAID and Global Fund, are on the brink of withdrawing 400 billion shillings worth of funding to Kenya due to the multi-billion shilling procurement scandal at the Kenya Medical Supplies Agency. Further, 17 billion shillings has been found to be unaccounted for during the 2019-2020 financial year at the agency. NTV's Seth Olale brings the latest details in the scandal that has seen a few people get rich while millions of others are dying trying. The COVID-19 pandemic has brought unforeseen pain and suffering, even death in some instances. And as the country begins to adapt to life with the invisible enemy, more unforeseen, but manufactured pain and suffering lies ahead. The cartels that are COVID-19 millionaires have not only robbed the country of resources in a pandemic, but also robbed it of its credibility in the eyes of donors. Global organizations, USAID and Global Fund, are on the brink of withdrawing their donations as a result of massive graft at Kenya Medical Supplies Authority, KEMSA. The two organizations have indicated to the Ministry of Health that they may pull out their funds, which amount to 400 billion shillings spread out over three years. This means that the country's war against leading killer diseases such as HIV AIDS, malaria and tuberculosis is staring at a brutal blow. This illness mostly affects poor and vulnerable people and kill far much more people than COVID-19. A letter obtained by NTV dated 23rd June 2020 from the Senior Fund Portfolio Manager at Global Fund, John Ochero, to the Ministry of Health reveals the queries raised by the two world medical donor giants, which include procurement of Kenya Malaria Indicator Survey, KMIS, delays in procurement of GenExpert cartridges, delays in procurement of nutritional commodities, transportation tender at KEMSA, and KEMSA warehouse construction. USAID's contribution to Kenya's health sector is fighting malaria, tuberculosis, HIV AIDS, as well as improving nutrition, family planning, and maternal and child health. Additional contribution is made towards trade, agriculture, and infrastructure. With investigations into KEMSA's multi-billion shilling scandal still ongoing, a leaked external audit report from investigating agencies indicates that a whooping 17 billion shillings was unaccounted for in the 2019-2020 financial year. In addition, it has now emerged that the health principal secretary only approved 758 million shillings for patches of COVID-19 related medical supplies, but Kemsa's management went out on a spending spree to procure goods worth over 6 billion shillings. This is against a market price of 3 billion shillings, creating a loss of close to 3 billion that is to be footed by taxpayers. Kemsa board chairman Kembi Gitura sought approval from the health cabinet secretary Mutai Kagwe to write off 2 billion shillings lost by KEMSA. The letter reads in part and I quote, I wish to assure you that the board will hold management responsible for the loss for subjecting all officers who bear any responsibility to disciplinary process. It doesn't end there. A letter seen by NTV dated 22nd June from the National Treasury reveals how KEMSA sought 5 billion shillings without approval from the Ministry of Health. In the letter, Treasury notes that KEMSA did not provide information of whether the 5 billion shillings commitment was made without confirmation of availability of funds from the ministry. Of interest to the investigators are the Ethics and Anti-Corruption Commission, are the board directors of KEMSA, as well as directors of the companies that won tenders to supply inflated medical supplies. Sources within the investigating agency also indicate that the entire investigation is supposed to take no longer than a month before the files are forwarded to the Director of Public Prosecution. Seth Olale, NTV, Nairobi.